morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. Let's talk about this. I really didn't want to because, uh, you know, some things is just too egregious and it's best left alone. But I decided to break my silence and uh, talk about this. Um, and that's uh, Sean Diddy Combs and the privileges that um, he's getting or lack of in prison. Uh, he's currently behind bars, which all of y'all know, at the Metropolitan Detention Center in Brooklyn after he was indicted for sex trafficking, racketeering, and transportation to engage in prostitution earlier last month. This dude, who was 54 years old, was denied bail by the judge and pleaded not guilty to all charges. And since I've heard that he's been trying to uh, threaten people from behind bars, I'm glad that there's no bail. The American hip-hop freak is known for his lavish lifestyle, but what is life really like for one of the world's biggest stars that's that now and found himself in prison. Former married at first sight star Timothy Smith, who presently, who previously served time in the U.S. federal prison, says D Diddy's current jail conditions are grim. Smith said that despite Diddy's wealth and status, Prison life offers no special treatment. His money and wealth won't get him any benefits, he told Daily Mail. Drawn from his own experiences with inmates with high social status. In the federal system, it is so limited, you don't get extra privileges because you're rich. You don't get it because of that. You're allowed a few basic, like, uh, track suit and sneakers from the uh, commissary, but that's about it. They do raise, and if you try to stockpile, they take everything. So Smith painted a stark picture from inside the facility, explaining that guards often use isolation as a tool to break inmates. You wouldn't be breaking me. I love it. He's in the management unit, so no, he doesn't have access to other inmates. People think there are TVs and radios, but where he's at, there's nothing, not even a radio. You get a Bible and one book per week. That's all. Smith also added that the star will also have very limited access to to communication with the outside world. You only get 300 minutes a month on the phone. So if you're on the phone for 30 minutes a day, after 10 days, you get no more phone for the next 20 days. Sometimes you run out of minutes within the first week. And then you're just left talking to your damn self. Smith also added that um, Diddy won't have a chance at negotiating special treatment while incarcerated. Even if he is in general population, there's not one cell, one TV. There will be a hundred people in that pod, and there are generally only a few TVs segregated by race, he said. His wealth won't help him in here. Nothing to help him. According to Smith, Diddy's future looks bleak. He's not watching TV, and the next time he's on the plane, it'll be with 200 prisoners on Con Air. He won't be getting out of this one so easy. Trust me.
Well, of course, this is a high-profile case. And if he's convicted, he could be facing a lengthy sentence. Mm. Once the feds have indicted you, they've made their case. The best advice I could give them, except where you are. There's no negotiating your way out of federal charges. If you think you're going to beat them, they'll break you down. It's been my experience. Three guys took their cases to trial thinking they could win, and they ended up with sentences far worse than they would have if they would have just accepted the plea. So in 2006, Smith was arrested for drug trafficking after flying marijuana across the Canada-U.S. border using his skills as a pilot. Despite earning a lucrative sum for his crimes, Smith's operations came to an end when he was caught by U.S. custom officials, leading to a year-long prison sentence, which extended due to immigration complications. Y'all hear that? Uh, uh, uh. What y'all think about that? Cause that's kind of, it's kind of crazy. You know what I'm saying? It, it really is. And 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 I just don't think, um, you know. I hear a lot of people out here making excuses for this dude. And now they're talking about he molested these children. I don't give a damn about Puffy. I'm going to tell you right now. And allegedly, if he's done these things that they alleged that he's done, I hope they put him up under the jail. Um, And that be the end of it. I ain't got time for this. Think of all the kids he's damaged. Think of all the uh, kids who are wounded adults now because some grown-up uh, raped them. Think about it. Because I know you know something. It could be you. Messed up in the head. Trying to get your life together. Constantly bouncing off stuff. Because some adult made you do something as a child that you was not willing to do. And that you was not ready to do. Uh-uh. I don't got no no sympathy for Puffy as a human being. I, you know, respect his uh, life. But other than that, dude, they got to lock you up. You got to pay for your crimes. I don't know. What do y'all think? Maybe it's me. If you like what you hear, subscribe and share the channel. And I will see you in the next one.